Crisis meetings, financial difficulty and the sudden death of a co-founder. The future of one of Australia's largest builders, Metricon, is looking shaky. So what does this mean for families waiting for their dream homes to be built? It's been enormous, really. And I don't want to get upset, but, but um, yeah, I've sat and cried. As politicians and business leaders hash out the future of major home builder Metricon behind closed doors, Erna Miller is among those affected by the uncertainty. This facade is the facade I have chosen. In 2020, Erna entered into a contract with Metricon to build a dream home for her and daughter Emma. She's a delight. She, she's loads of fun and, and we, we do have... We do have fun together, don't we? Yes, we do. <laughs> but sadly, Erna's finding it tougher to smile lately as the family, currently in a rental property, wait for construction to begin on their new home. I ring Metricon and, and don't always get an answer. I leave message, no answer. And that's, that's been continual. As Emma heads off for her daycare group, or school as she calls it, Erna shows us the vacant block she dreams of turning into their home. Yeah. So you signed the contract when? September 20. And it's about a year and a half ago and still no house? Still no house. No construction even? No, not even a hole in the ground. <laughs> It is difficult to come down here and see your dream isn't there. For Brisbane-based Kim James, it's also a waiting game. Construction has begun on her Metricon home, but 10 months on, it still sits unfinished. It's very upsetting and it's caused a lot of stress, um, just not on me, my whole family as well. Yeah, because you think, what's going to happen next? And then now you think, am I going to get a home? I just want a house, that's all I want is a house. Founded in 1976, Metricon claims to be Australia's biggest builder. It employs roughly 2,500 Aussies and has 4,000 builds currently in the works around the country. The company is certainly high profile when it comes to its marketing, which includes having bought the naming rights to the AFL stadium on the Gold Coast. Metricon founder Mario Biasson died this week after a bout of mental health issues and with rumours about solvency, acting Metricon CEO Peter Langfelder spoke publicly this afternoon. Our business has been very strong for 45 years and will continue to for a long, long time to come. Mr Langfelder apparently feeling the need for transparency was inconvenient. You know, the media's not helping here. Um, you know, the reality is we're strong. We're paying everybody on time. Nobody's be behind in, in any payments. And, and if anyone didn't turn up, it's really because of this media frenzy that's been drummed up by you guys. Danny Hunter from the Property Council is an industry expert. She's not involved in the Metricon situation, but says that all builders are facing rising costs and delays due to global factors. Ukraine was one of the largest exporters of timber and timber that is used to build homes and to build apartment buildings is definitely in short supply around the globe. Now, what we're seeing in the freight and logistics sector is really quite significant. There's another global trend there, which is China's COVID zero policy. And if you have a look at aerial shots outside the port of Shanghai, you'll see thousands, thousands of freight carriers just waiting to get in and out of China. Late today, Metricon agreed to speak with us regarding Erna's situation. Regional manager Tanya Tonks. With Erna, when she came to our, our business to actually build her new family home, we knew her circumstances, so it was very important to us to help her along the way. And I know that the team have gone above and beyond to actually support Erna uh, through her journey. According to Tanya, the hold-up for Metricon in this case is Erna's local council, Mount Alexander Shire, which hasn't issued a proper permit. So once those permits are issued, we just finalise her ordering file, which is sitting there just ready for the clarifications to be done, and we're straight out to site. We followed up with counsel in the hope that Erna and Emma can find their home sweet home. Yeah, let's hope they do.